Hey everyone, we're here at the new location in Rittenhouse, Buena Onda Baja Taqueria. I'm here with Chef Jose Garces, which is a staple here in Philadelphia. If you don't know about him, you better make sure to check out all his restaurants. <laughs> but uh, we're here to have a good time. He's gonna show me around the kitchen, uh, show me how to uh, cook some tacos, and uh, we're just here to have a good time. Let's start with a little oil, just a little salt. So you don't cook, Alejandro? What's going on? Not, not, cook. too, not too much, you know? Yeah. The wifey cooks wife is pretty good, but okay. I do enjoy food. I'll give you that much, but I, I got to get more into cooking. Both of my parents are from Colombia, born and raised in Colombia. They yeah. came over searching for a better life, the American dream. My sure. father came on actually on a soccer scholarship. Uh, he was a uh, professional back in Colombia. Oh, wow. So yeah, I was born in North Jersey. Uh, in a pocket where, you know, North Jersey, there's a lot of Colombians around there. Where my mom was an amazing cook, uh, you know, there's nothing like homemade mom's cooking. Every morning, that's uh, all I wanted was arepas, arepas con queso. Oh you my know, gosh. Every morning, wow. and she made that. Speaking my language. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah absolutely. So, you know, I guess that's where my love yeah. for food came from, of course. That's amazing. And, you know, very similarly, I had both of my parents, uh, they immigrated from Ecuador. Uh, I was born in Chicago and uh, grew up in this Ecuadorian American household, uh, you know, kind of trying to assimilate to to the U.S. and what it is to be American. And then also like hold on to like my cultural roots that was, was going on at home. As a young kid, were you always cooking, helping your mother cook? Yeah, or? yeah. You know, growing up in a Latin household, like you can't help, you know, the moms cook. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like I was spoiled with my mother. My mom, my mom's cooking, right? Like, yeah. Nothing like that. Yeah, my mom and my grandma were both amazing cooks. I was just like a, I was like a, a chubby kid who liked to eat. So I was <laughs> always in the kitchen with them. And then it really wasn't until I got to um, cooking school that I realized I had a talent. When I got there, it really opened my eyes to all of the different um, opportunities, things that you could do with food, and yeah, the creativity aspect of it that was also so fun and kind of keeps me going every day. You mentioned arepas, and I wanted to come back to that because that's one of my favorite things to make. I've made them for my kids since they were like, uh, since that they could remember. You know, it's these childhood memories, these family memories, certainly in, in our Latin culture that I think they've stayed with me, whether it's arepas, empanadas, um, my dad's like uh, steak sessions with chimichurri. Oh, yeah. So yeah, and you know, I think it's really, Latin culture really, um, food plays such a big role in it. And I'm so proud to uh, have that within me and, and have that as a basis for my cooking going forward. Yeah, absolutely. I think the food, I think for us, you know, I'm Colombian American, Ecuadorian American, but you know, obviously I represent the US national team on the world stage. But food has been the one thing that has always connected me to that, the, the Colombia from a cultural standpoint, right? I wasn't born there, but through food, I was able to connect with my Colombian roots. That's and right. by having empanadas, arepas, you know, chicharron, you know, all this fried stuff that thankfully with soccer, I was able to run off, but, uh, <laughs> or else, you know, who knows what, but, uh, Food has just enabled me to just connect with the Colombian people. When you think about Latin culture and Hispanic heritage, uh, soccer plays such a big role in, in that. And soccer and food for me uh, are pretty much one and the same. A little chipotle remoulade on the bottom. Some of these nice tequila glazed shrimp. And this is a pickled red cabbage. That's pretty much it. You wanna try one? It's great. It's almost like the messier, the better for oh, me. Yeah. It's good, really good. Yeah, that's a good sauce. I'll give you that recipe. As long as you don't put it on pincho, all right? And we'll be okay. <laughs> hey guys, I got this great sauce. <laughs> Boom. Uh, Look at that. That's so you know how good it is. Finger licking good, is you know what I'm saying? I want to thank you very much for you know welcoming me here to your new restaurant, Buena Onda here. Thanks for showing me the ropes. Um, the tequila lime sauce. Awesome. Tell me it was delicious. Yeah, it was so good. Alejandro, listen, mi casa, su casa. Anytime, brother, anytime. This is this is your place, you just let me know. You want tacos delivered to the house? Jose, give me, a, <laughs> give me a six pack, no problem. A fresh guac for the kids. Oh, it's fresh guac with the kids, yeah, yeah. And you know, you're welcome to a game anytime. So oh, you let I, me know and I know like, you'll make you proud out there. Likewise, likewise. Thank right, you. It's been a pleasure, thank you.